Trading advice for a newer trader. Hi, it's Charlie giving you Saturday's video. I hope you're very well. So I've had a question come in from a trader and um, regarding mindset. So let's go and have a look at that question first of all. Um, this was came in last week. Um, I have a question for you. I'm going through a drawdown period over the last four weeks. My question is related to mindset. I've had two to three such drawdowns in the past two. My mind always thinks about the market even when the markets are closed is what he's saying here and I feel low confidence after five to six continuous loss losses. This time I've seen 12 in a row following all of my rules. Um, the question is how to control such thoughts to come into that come into mind when the markets are closed. Is there a mindset exercise I can do? Going lower low is always uncomfortable in your equity curve. Um, although it will all, it will come back uh, one day for a higher high if perfect execution happens. But the period in between is tough. Uh, he's saying especially at night times when I don't want to think about the markets, my mind um, keeps on going that way. How do experienced traders handle the mind during drawdown periods? Um, okay, good question. Um, well, the first, there's a couple of things that I would like to mention here, um, I think. Um, firstly, is as a mindset exercise, then we're going to come back to your trading itself, is that you, you have to... Um, Consider the fact that this is just one trade in the next thousand or ten thousand trades that you're going to be taking over the future. And if you envisage, if you took a thousand trades, how many trades do you think? How many trades do you think of those thousand are going to be losing trades? Okay, so if you're following flawless execution of your strategy, you should know this. So historically, if you took a thousand trades, what's your win rate? Is what I'm asking. So if you said, well, yeah. 500 of the trades for argument's sake are going to be winning trades and 500 are going to be losing trades okay well within those winning trades um oh sorry within the losing trades is it reasonable to expect with your system go based on historic history that it could have runs of five losers in a row 10 losers in a row 15 losers in a row because that's just the way that you know trades cluster so my First piece of advice to you is to go back over your trading history of this pattern, this strategy that you're following and deep, do a deep dive into the historicals. Because if you see that historically it, the maximum number of consecutive losing trades it's ever had was four and you've now had 12, then that is a warning sign. But if historically it's, oh yeah, it's done 10 losers in a row before and you've now just done 12. Well, that's still within the boundaries of that because you, if historically your, your strategy has had 10 losers in a row, then it would be reasonable to expect that in the future that it could have fifth, you'd have to allow for 15 to 20. Okay. So nearly, you know, between, you know, um, 50 to a hundred percent more than, than it's done in the past. Now, if you got to 20, then you've got to then look at, you know, maybe your system's broken, okay? Um, but if you are, you know, 50% uh, greater than whatever the history's um, uh, done, or even up to a maximum of 100% greater, then you're still okay. But if you go beyond that, then you're going to have to stop trading it. So, so, but again, this will give you confidence. If you do a deep dive into it and you say, yeah, this happens, you know, uh, historically this has happened plenty of times where it has you know numbers of consecutive losers it helps you to to be confident in your system to say it's just doing what it's doing nothing different to uh, what historically it has done okay now as far as you're concerned um, I would say it as far as your mindset is concerned so that will work that will help going back over your all that historical data and doing a deep dive into the the sequences of wins and losses okay um, the other thing that I must um, ask though or suggest is look at how much you're risking as a percentage of your account per trade because it it does if you reduce your risk per on your account per trade then 
you're less likely to, to find it emotional when you do have runs of losers in a row as well. So I do think you need to have a look at how much you're risking per trade and, and then um, potentially reduce that because that will help desensitize the trades for you as well. So um, the, the problem that we have is that people say, yeah, but I really want to risk what I'm risking because I'm only on a small account and I want to grow it. And this is the problem. This is the, the, the eternal issue that people want to make the gains, but they're mentally not necessarily prepared to be able to make those gains. So um, if anyone watching has that sort of inner, inner dialogue saying, yeah, but I want to risk 1%, let's say, risk per trade, or I want to risk whatever it is, um, because then I'll, I'll make more money. Yes, but you're not, you've not earned the right to make more money yet um, if you're not if you're not able to deal with it psychologically so my advice is reduce the risk per trade as well it will help desensitize all of those emotions plus do a deep dive keep reminding yourself in the hit oh, based on the historical data look you know this is trading within its historical norms and I have to expect that that's what's going to happen and thinking forwards over the next thousand trades it would be reasonable to expect that they're going to have I'm going to have clusters of wins and clusters of losses uh, in the future as well so hopefully all that helps that's me done for Saturday have a lovely weekend I'll be back in touch middle of next week